But even if they should win, just remember that icon. We do have the actual mirror match. This is two seats. This is very rare. Which one gets the blue? I think it's Warup. He's on player one, isn't he? Warup gets the blue. Ooh. Warup gets the red. Oh. Uh, but this is gonna be fun. I never see Civil Ditto's anymore. I like that Oro up through the Amalga, just to be debuff hurt. Because Oro likes somewhere to play the game. So he's actually a little bit of warm, and I know he's on there. I don't know how much mirror experience he has, so I wonder how easy dodge with the moon with him will help him out in that. Because we see he opts for the Crow here instead of the Amorga. It helps give him just a little bit extra kill advantage because it's so fast and just get the catch. See, what it usually comes down to is the CAD catch in this matchup. Who is going to backdash out of their CAD? I feel like I also be careful if you, uh, I forget what it's but with the first follow up, it's not sub CA. Yes. Someone's like, CAD sick, though. It's like CADC chicken, but like, mid full range. <laughs> Actually, Oro, oh. amazing, amazing dual phase, we brought it all the way back, and it's actually with us, like, just one dual phase in the corner. And strong and great to grab, first is great. Get an elect for the grab there, that was an set up. Oh, I respect that. Just the backdash, see what they'll do. Mm -hmm. He decides to hold grab. Realize, okay, I just dash and grab real quick. Don't get these members. Right. And it's really cool to see like offline event. You know, kind of the mentality of going in. Most players wouldn't go for grab that early. That's why I think the best thing to do if you're a newer player, just play your game plan. Yeah. Do you? Because you never know who might like fall for it. Right. You working out for him here? You know, got a lot of damage in. You have to third. There you go. Full punch, strong mid range tool. All the time, that can No bug bite, that just goes for the damage. Now he has a nice field phase advantage, even wins it. And it's looking rough for Oro. Short stance on the table, but well, you're kind of stuck in a pressure. Oro having a comfort there. That was the ball he's jumped in. Yes, that was so, so scary. Oro able to snag a back to the wall punch. Look at that king call up. That is a lot of damage. Helping him catch back up, especially in the nice time for a tech burst up as well. It gives him a little bit more freedom. Now it's about to be just one burst. Here, throws the sword down, he had an exit there. Like this, just play it safe, slow it down, he's out of time. He doesn't have to overcommit yet, but he's almost out of time, he's gonna lose a few health advantage in about. So yeah, I don't know, uh, TC can just hang back, but he's, he's not about that life, he's just gonna take it. I expect that TC, looking like he just knows that mirror better. Yeah. Like, saw a lot more knowledge checks from him. And I think this, once again, goes back to what you said before, of the ace versus the jack of all trades. Oro has a lot of different characters. Mm -hmm. And TC, my knowledge, just is just his orc. Yeah, because Aura plays Gardevoir, he plays his orc. He still has a Machamp. Yep, so has a Machamp. Lucario at one point I thought. I believe so. I think it was super long though. Yeah. Wait, here you go. I like the swap though to Gardevoir. I think people say Gardevoir is like not a very good. I don't think she is, but I believe, at least in this matchup, like being able to pierce is pretty strong. Yeah, especially in field phase. Because he just like, he, he almost makes sword stance even more risky than he already is sometimes. And especially in dual face here now, like, you can't do as many man grabs as much as he gets pierced with the low. And we're seeing it right here with Ouroboros. Going for that 2x is amazing in this matchup. If it will hit, thing just as Ouroboros wants to go and try to hover through, and it also counter pierces. So you can't hover cancel it, you can't do anything fast or respect it. And you have to be careful of energy ball too if you try to go over, because you just pop it. Right. And then there's even burst where you can use a laser all three. It's very advantageous here for Oro right now. This is looking rough for TEC. I don't know how much experience he has in this matchup, but it's kind of, it's looking pretty rough. Right. It's a rough it's a rough matchup mainly because of that two X in my in my opinion. Yeah. Gardevoir is definitely that character, you know she's loses a lot of matches, the one she does when she wins hard. <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> And they're gonna just off and run out the projectiles. He sees that TC can't deal with the Gardevoir. That's a nice game. He gets the attack up too, so even if Aura pops first, he'll still be able to use the 
Oh no! Yeah, unfortunately you cannot see that that will pierce. He actually lost me 8x over that. Perfect. Oh, that right. Nicely done. Find out some of the knowledge. He's in now. Here we go. Pressure still has a sword. Okay. He's having to try to get something going offensively, but Oro is ready to see it. It's almost kind of like... It feels like he's trying to see what he can do. Ooh, he actually has... Oh! Nicely done. And Aura will still have his first stuff, but then we have Vaughn damage to make up for all the chip he was taking and pierces. No, I believe it's right back to field. And you'd be able to close a lot of that gap, but I'll just bring swords instead. Kind of blocking him in place, but yeah, I would like to see him actually go in a little bit harder here. I feel like he's a little bit worried that he's going to be caught by projectile running forward. I'm not sure what happened there. He actually went over one of the projectiles, which is a hell back Y. Yeah, more chip pressure coming in. Oh, this should be able to the other one. We'll be able to confirm our Alright, or I'm just gonna the burst, try to close it out here. You're in rage, you're in burst mode. One confirm couldn't be able with all this shit. He knows knowledge, he knows he can duck those. He's figuring it out slowly but surely. And he's playing a bit safer, trying to figure everything out. I like this patience. Oh no. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But there was the patience. I like that he was awaiting. He's like, okay, I know what I can punish. Right. So let's wait for him to throw it out. Right. But unfortunately, saw, you know, it's the rule of threes. Always mix up on the third. Yep. Forgot the rule. <laughs> got caught. But we did, we did see some nice adaptations from him there. So, like, in game number two was better than game number one. So we'll see if we can adapt even more in this game number three uh, and actually take the round here. And, game. and I think... I wonder if he had a support swap. I think Oro actually made the support swap. Mm. So you are character locked, like, character locked if you win the match, but you are not support locked for game so even if you win a match, you can actually go back in and take a different support. I really like the Miss Magius here. I think it's super strong because you can use it as a wall, and it gives you the attack up. Just makes your team try and get in even more deadly. Right. Or trying to lay on that pressure, really. There's not much uh, Sizzler can do to get around the Miss Magius. If you could go and try to jump it, or more or more, or just go for the ship. Nice trade. Yeah, let's get some wall pressure. Ooh, actually, max raise on it looks like. Maybe we get it. Respect the bug bike. Steal some synergy, you know. Get yourself close to the burst. And just keep the pressure on. Don't let him get that distance lead. Yeah, you can see the support change here. Going to watch the too. That's an interesting game. You know, but get rid of the projectiles. So, and I believe you don't get iframes anymore. No. It does not give iframes, unfortunately. I love Pachirisu. This is where I'm dead. I just missed Pachirisu iframes. Unfortunately, it's not strong now, but it's still a good niche pick. Especially for something like Gardevoir. Which gives you that second to just walk in. Like, okay, now you have to deal with me in your face. See, I wonder what the support uh, change would be between Pachirisu and, uh, ooh, that was a nice setup by Oro. Uh, the difference between Pachirisu or Whimsicott. I don't know too much on the projectile properties from Gardevoir, but it would actually nullify a lot of her projectiles, or Pachirisu is the better choice. That's a good question. It's like, I don't know. I feel like you can still switch over to Magic Crypto if Pachirisu doesn't work now. Whereas, like, if you go to Whimsicott and you have to switch to Jirachi and you're already struggling in neutral, right. Jirachi doesn't help you at all, really. Right. Right. It's just like, okay, Pachirisu doesn't work out. I can just get the Kobe buff right. on a hit. Well, nice carry over. Well, not enough to I thought I was going to shift there. Oh, no, unfortunately. The, I like the cancel back, but unfortunately, she had another move. I guess more of the knowledge coming into play. Um, it's, not, it's not engraved into your head yet, like, okay, this is gonna pierce me. This is looking much better than the second game. Like, even with Miss Magius alive, he's getting a lot of damage. He's getting that pressure on Oro, he's finding his way in. He's still first. Yeah, Oro's really keeping him away. That's it, we're gonna and it's like, Zora doesn't believe has like the best way of dealing with it. Like you can do like the hop kick, I forget what input that is, but you're still gonna get caught. You have, a little like, you have the 8x. It just gets you over, it doesn't give you an advantage, but you go on to the chip at least. Mm -hmm. And you're not moving, you know, which is really hurts the Zora. Ooh! Oh, wow. Oro trying to be a little cheeky there with the call out, but it's actually gonna go to game 3, round 3 because of it. Yeah, I am actually surprised that stuff. Yeah, I am too. I was like, oh, he just burst it, okay, here it is, and then he stuffed. I was like, wait. Um, almost first here for Oro again, and he has support up. This is going to be a very deadly situation. Yeah, he's got to hold that space. 
Just goes in and stays. Like, I'm not gonna be patient. I'm not gonna, do what you're I'm not gonna let you do what you want. I like that. I agree. Like, if they know you're, you're gonna have to play patient and you just go in, they're not gonna be ready sometimes. Get yeah. rid of it and mix that dash and grab. Yeah, this is gonna give us some nice energy. Yeah, unfortunately, it's still about halfway. This is gonna give us some nice energy too. Right into the bug bite. Moro is pressing a lot of buttons when he's in the corner. He's, I feel like he's afraid of the grab, and Tech is just running away with it because he knows that he can't. Trying for the hard back line, not able to get a little out of range. Oh, I thought she was going to hit him first. That's not bad. He was these last so long. Nice job for the points. Reminds me of a uh, subtitle a little bit. A little bit. They just like, kind of hover around here. It's like, oh, well, I guess I'll hold shield. Yeah. You try to CA them, it's very deceptive. And now this is the part of the harsh part of the match. Miss Maggie says up first mode, but you have rage and you're close to first yourself. Right. Yeah, that's actually really good a little bit. Horrible. Maybe with the uh, guys on the wing. Far enough to I didn't like the way that. Oh, oh the no! Second arrow! He was, he was looking pretty good there towards the end. You know, TC, he was playing patient. Mm -hmm. He had a good way, especially on that jab check. Yeah.